Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Forced to flee from civil war and unrest, more and more people are moving to the big city. There are way over 8 million people living here. Many hope to improve their lives, but few manage to. They try to keep their heads above water with temporary jobs. Poverty and lack of prospects force many into the hands of those promising easy solutions. church service in one of the numerous religious communities in Kinshasa. Many look for a better fortune in one of the numerous sects as a way out of despair. The self-appointed preachers exploit the deeply rooted fear of magical powers, which are especially rife in the Congolese people, for their own gain. It is not uncommon for the cause of problems to be blamed on children who have been possessed by evil powers. Exorcists offer their services in exchange for hard cash and promise to take away the curse or cast out the evil forces. This is eben eine irgendwie auch immer geartete Form eines Versuchs von einer Teufelsaustreibung oder Dämonenaustreibung. It's in some ways a kind of casting out of the devil or of demons, or at least that's the way it's presented. And various kinds of potions, either traditional magical potions or some other kind of normal liquid with added perfume or whatever. At any rate, it's all for show. They try to cast out a demon out of the child so that everyone believes that the child is possessed and the child can't do anything else but go into a blind panic and is completely helpless and it looks in the end to everyone as if the child really is possessed because he's behaving so strangely and if the preacher really has the power to cast out the demons. so aus, das Kind ist tatsächlich besessen, es verhält sich so eigenartig und hier wird der Der Prediger hat also wirklich die Kraft hier. And even if at the end the child ends up dying or is really ill, then the majority of those believers never find out. And it seems as if the preacher has those powers, and he pretends to be some great exorcist, and that means he has power over the demons. Als großer Teufelsaustreiber da, und das heißt, er hat auch Macht über die Dämonen. It makes me think of the word of Jesus when he says, Woe betide those who mistreat the little children. There will probably never be any proper research into the damage done to those children and that they carry with them into their lives. But it's real and it's horrible what happens, and all in the name of God, which these preachers make claims on. Namen Gottes, den nehmen die Prediger ja für sie für sich in Anspruch. These children are also seen as possessed, rejected by their families, stigmatized as witches, and living like dogs on the streets, abandoned and defenseless. It's said that there are 25,000 witch children like these in Kinshasa. On the streets, it's the survival of the fittest. The children often turn to petty theft just to keep life and soul together. The authorities have declared a war against this. They're fair game. They can be beaten up, have their meager possessions stolen, or even raped. Many of them end up in prostitution. Kinshasa by night. A missionary on his way to find the children. The missionaries of the Divine Word, who've been active in the Congo since 1951, did not want to accept this. They began working with street children 25 years ago. 
The project is called Orpa and tries to show the children that they have a future. Eine Gruppe, die jetzt nachts mit einem Mobil auf die Straße geht und zwar ins Zentrum der Hauptstadt, wo die Straßenkinder sich aufhalten und die Kinder wissen das. We have a group of people who go around the streets at night with a mobile unit in the center of the capital where the street children hang out. And the kids know when we're going to be there on the street corner and they can come to us and have medical care. They might also get something to eat, but the medical care is really important. I saw one boy there and his leg was completely swollen and it turned out that he'd been hit by a car a few weeks before. Nobody takes any notice of the street children. They're hardly even seen as real people and so finally his leg could get medical treatment. Und das hätte schon längst versorgt werden müssen und da endlich konnte es jetzt medizinisch versorgt werden. Die Kinder streiten sich dann auch oft untereinander mal, wenn es darum geht, hier etwas zu essen zu klauen oder da etwas zu holen. Und dann verletzen sie sich mit Glasscherben oder wie auch immer. Also da gibt es viele Verletzungen oder natürlich Krankheit, Malaria, was ja alle betrifft und werden da wirklich medizinisch versorgt. But there's more to it than that. The fact that the missionaries are there gives the children security. There's someone who comes and watches over them. Rapists, slave traders and corrupt police have to be aware that someone is going to catch them out. A peaceful refuge. The missionaries of the Divine Word have established a center where the laws are different from those on the street. Even if there are not enough beds to give all the witch children a roof over their heads, they have a place here where they can take it easy. The accommodation may not be comfortable, but there's food, there's someone to talk to, and they can be children here and put their worries to one side for a while. Children who have been told that they are witches and bring misfortune and death to other people can feel that they have some value here. The Divine Word Project tries to take children back to their original families or they find host families for them. For the fathers here, this kind of commitment is simply a logical consequence of their faith. I was Kaplan in St. Felix and have tried to spread the to verkünden. Irgendwann habe ich festgestellt, I used to be a chaplain in St. Felix and I tried to preach the gospel, but eventually I came to the conclusion that they couldn't really take part or lived in such extreme hardship that it was tough to preach the word of God to them without helping them in a direct and useful way so that they can live at, at least to some extent in reasonable circumstances. And I went to their houses and saw how the people lived beneath all notions of human dignity. As people, as missionaries, our challenge is to assist people out of this crying injustice. The fathers are convinced that the best way of rehabilitating these children into society is through vocational training. This bakery was built by the children of the Divine Word Project, who trained as bricklayers and carpenters. Now, other children have found work as bakers, the project also shows the local people that the children who are trained here are far from being possessed by demonic powers. The missionaries also prove something else clearly. Faith leads to freedom. Wherever the fear of devils and witches is stirred up, then the spirit of Jesus Christ is not at work. Jesus, to whom the missionaries have pledged their duty. Hey.